The world is hurting right now, and it's time to rise up. As we lift ourselves up in body, mind, and spirit, we can reach out to others and be a light in a sea of darkness. Welcome to the Movement for Global Health with your host, Dr. Mary Zenit. Self-esteem is foundational to a sense of well-being and living a full life. But what self-esteem? At its core, it's the ability to see ourselves as people. We each have an invisible eye that looks at ourselves. It's a roving eye that looks at all that is seen and unseen. Our thoughts, our emotions, ourselves. Parents, you are essential to help children dial into their own internal eye, to help them focus. What are they seeing? We want them to begin to see an inner being that transcends all that they do think or say. The words, I am, come to mind. I am a radiant ball of energy. My presence makes the world a better place for having me around. It's not too soon to cultivate your child's ability to self-reflect. These are the roots of spirituality. Spirituality refers to our spirit being, more than our physical body, more than our minds, more than our emotions. It's our essence as people. Parents, it helps to cultivate your own internal essence, your own sense of spirituality. A verse from Psalms comes to mind. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. What does fearfully mean? Translated from Hebrew, it means with great reverence, heartfelt interest, and with respect. Wonderfully in Hebrew means unique and set apart. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have granted us an unspeakable gift, the gift of life. As a parent, you chose me to co-create my child, this inner being of delight and wonder. It is a huge responsibility, but I'm not alone. You are there with me. In fact, you are the reason I can even rise up to the challenge of helping to raise my child in your image and likeness. Thank you for your divine guidance and protection. I yoke myself to you as we embark on this journey called life. You are our reason for being. You are, and we are in you. Amen.